An entrapment with McKinsey's true classification is labeled as an irreducible derangement and is created from the displaced discal material becoming fibrotic over time and it's incapable of moving and hence constantly causes tension and compression of the nerve root, i.e. entrapping the nerve, causing constant symptoms into the periphery. With an entrapment, I usually use the dysfunction model to treat this type of pathology somewhat similar to the treatment used with an adherent nerve root because the same tissue that will actually scar down the nerve root to the disc or the bone will stuff itself into this space and create technically a soft tissue stenosis. The way that you can remodel this is you can open up that space repeatedly with different angles and different movements of forward flexion or lateral forward flexion and you can open the space pull on that scar tissue you can start to break down and remodel that scar tissue and provide more space in this area here when you provide more space you give the nerve a better chance to not have that constant pressure on it and you can alleviate symptoms we'll talk about the treatment of this in the next section so in this model we've created an entrapment by use of this pink tape where it's surrounding the nerve and creating compression on the nerve it's also creating that soft tissue stenosis type of effect whenever you bend this forward you can see that it pulls on the actual tissue itself and that pulling of the tissue will cause that remodeling process that we were discussing earlier if you laterally flex it away it will have the same effect so that's why there's different motions that you can utilize to remodel an entrapment